welcome back to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. In this episode, I'll show you how you can use buttons in Wix. The first thing we're going to do is go to our add button over here, the plus one. We're going to click on it. And as soon as we click on it, we're going to be presented with so many different things. We're going to make sure we click on button. And now, as you can see, we have themed buttons, we have icon buttons, we have document buttons, we have so many different kinds of buttons. Let's go ahead and just start easy. We're going to go to themed buttons. And these are buttons that are already designed for us. I'm going to click on the one that I think is very similar to the one I want. And that is the view more button. I'm going to drag it and drop it in the middle of my page over here. As soon as it loads up, as you can see, we can see it. And if I click if I click on preview, we will actually be able to interact with it. As you can see, if I hover over, you can see that the color here changes. So it has a hover effect. But if I click on it, nothing happens. So in this episode, I'll show you how you can change the design and also how you can link that button to another page and let it do something. So let's click back to editor. And now that we're back to our editor, let's go ahead and click on it. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be changing our design. So let's click again on the button and we're going to ignore the first button. The second button, we're going to go to the design and I'm going to click on design. As you can see here, I can change again my button to the designs already created by Wix. And if I just scroll down, you can see the other ones, but I want to design my own. So I'm going to click on custom design. And here I have a whole bunch of other things that I can do. First of all, let's go ahead to our border. And I want to have a different color. So let's go ahead, uh, sorry, a different styling. I want it to be dotted. And as you can see, it's now dotted. More, uh, more than that, let's go to our corners and I want it to be cornered. So I'm going to type in 12, just like this. And the good thing about Wix is, as you can see, because this button is locked, all the corners change at the same time. If I unlock it, I can actually make this one 12 and I can come over here and make this one one. And I can come over here and make this one 123. Let's see how that looks. As you can see, you can make your own designs completely, but I want it to be normal. So let's go ahead, click on design again. We're going to go to custom design again, jump to corners and let's lock it and then make it back to 12, just like that. And if I leave it, as you can see, we now have a cornered button. Let's click on the button again and click on design. And let's see what else we can actually change. Sorry, click on the button. Seems like my computer lag. Click on the button, go to design, custom design. And let's see what else we can do. Well, we can add a shadow. Let's see how that works. We can click on customize shadow. And over here, we can actually choose the angle at which the shadow is showing. For example, I want it to look as if there is a sun here or light here and the shadow is being posed in the area. So I'm going to play around until I can see the shadow appearing in the area that I want. And I think that's exactly where it's at. You can even choose the inner shadow. So let's see how that works. And that means there is a shadow somewhere over here. Again, exactly how I want it. Let's go back to our adder and let's make the distance a little bit more. Now, this is not the best looking shadow. I'm just showing how it works. And let's go ahead and blur a little bit, just like this. And the size, we can actually make it something like that. So now it's actually looking like it is hovering. We can even choose the color of the shadow. So I can make it something like purple. I can make it darker purple. And I think I'll actually stick with red. And I can close this again. And now if I zoom a little bit onto it, you can see that it looks like it's floating away and it looks like it's emitting a red color behind. Let's zoom out one more time. Click on the button, click on design, customize design. And over here, we can see the layout. Now, as you can see, I can choose to put the text on the left side, the right side or center. Please make it centered. It always looks better. We can also choose to whether we want to have a text and an icon, text only or icon only. I'll leave it as text only for now. Let's go ahead and close this. And now let's link a page to this button. So we want to do some actions with this button. I'm going to click on this button over here, oh, over here that says link. And as you can see, I can choose to link it into th pages that are already in my website. So if I go to page, I can actually select directly straight away any page here that I want on my website, or I can choose to put a link directly. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to web address and over here, I'm going to type in my website. So the link that I want, it's going to be HTTPS www.tapaway.com. 
www.ghostbusinessbrand.com.au. This is, by the way, the website where you can get in touch with me, ask me, hire me, or even consult me in your business. You can choose to open this. So when this button is clicked, you can choose to open this URL in a new page or in the current window. I'm going to choose new window and I'm going to click done. Let's go ahead and preview this and see if it actually works. And I'm going to click on preview. Now let's hover on top of it. As you can see, the hover effect is still there. I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, it worked perfectly. The action was created and it opened my website straight away. Let's do this one more time. And as you can see, again, it works. Thanks so much for watching. In this episode, you learn how to use buttons, customize them, add links to it and everything else. I hope I see you back soon.